Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out today's video. Today's video is going to be my November empties. Hello Christmas, welcome. <laughs> I'm feeling very Christmassy so I put on a bold lip and this is in the shade Bow from Jaclyn Hill. It's a really, really pretty color, very holiday. So let's get into the empties because my bin is overflowing. I have, oh goodness, see, told you. I have things here that have like one burn left, so I'm gonna quick show those. I've got blueberry maple pancakes from Bath and Body Works, wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes, warm maple syrup. This literally has like one burn left. And it's great. It's like the best Eggo waffle scent, the blueberry Eggo waffle scent that you can imagine. It's so good. It is a little sweet, but I like it. It performs really well. I will purchase this however long they continue to make it. So that's good. Then I also have, continuing with the pancake fragrances, I have banana maple pancakes from Homeworks. This is mashed bananas, whipped milk, melted butter, vanilla extract, and fluffy pancakes. Again, this has one burn left. And I really, really like this, but it's so not strong enough. Ugh. People really, really like this too. Like they say it's super, super strong. So I don't know if I just got a dud or what. It's from this year. It's okay. Like if I walk into the bedroom and again, I'm burning it in a bedroom. It's not like a huge area I'm trying to scent with one candle. I just was, ex because it's so strong on cold. Like I was expecting to be like, oh, banana maple pancakes were here. But it's kind of like banana, banana pancakes. Like it's just whispering. It's whispering and I needed to shout. And it's just, she's not serving what I need. So I love this scent. Like it is a true mashed banana, not a Laffy Taffy banana, not a Runtz banana. Good banana scent with like truly pancake vibes. But she needs to be stronger. I have one more, I think, of that. And I will burn it. I will love it. I Would I repurchase it? I want to say yes. But it would need to be stronger. So if I got a dud, I got a dud, we'll see. Then I have from Huntington Home, pumpkin cream cookie. One is empty, <laughs> one is half full. Uh, that's because when I went to trim the wicks on this, I like trimmed it up, dumped it over the trash, the trash and plop, the whole thing went in the trash. And I was like, oh, okay, we're done with that. We can easily recycle this now, love that. And then this one, I was just like, well, okay, we'll just, we'll just be done with you. because. I like it on cold burning. I really didn't like it. It was just nasty. <laughs> very, very sweet. Like the pumpkin became like very like muddy and kind of like, I don't know, like grody. It just was not good. I really like it on cold, like a lot. It smells like a wonderful vanilla cookie cream pumpkin, whatever. Ugh, burning, it was just ick. It was giving me the ick. So I just was like, you know what? For $4 a candle or whatever these were last year, it's okay. We'll call it a wash. I got a little bit of it. It's okay. This to me was a sign. Dumping it in the trash was a sign. So I was like, we'll take the sign. I have Yankee Candles Summer Storm. This is just a teeny tiny little, I don't even know how, how 3.7 ounces. This is from 2019. And I just use it as ambiance in fall decor. So yeah, I think I have one burn left of this as well. And then we'll, we'll be done with it. So yeah, she's fine. She does fine. Um. Sorry, I thought I saw a reflection. I was like, uh-oh, the dog's gonna bark and throw this basket because she's resting peacefully in her bed right here like a little angel. And the basket is right next to it, so. Anyway, pumpkin cupcake from Bath & Body Works in a little single wick. This, woo, this was in the bathroom. It's vanilla buttercream, pumpkin spice, freshly baked cupcake. So good, love this scent. Literally the best. And this was so good. This one's from 2019. This was like the best year for for pumpkin cupcake. Truly just like a pumpkin cupcake scent. Like no dirty pumpkin, no nasty pumpkin, just sweet, delicious, fluffy cake. Oh, so good. <sighs> so good. Birthday cake from Homeworks. This was my birthday month. So of course you have to burn a birthday cake scent. Vanilla cake, whipped cream, caramelized sugars, and happy wishes. I loved this packaging. So beautiful with the cake, with the candles. Love, love, love. This lost a wick. She lost a wick. This is from 2021. So, ugh. But 
it, thankfully it was like at the end like it was only like this much left and then the other ones like they really burnt down like you, you, I got my money's worth I feel like and thankfully I lost the wick at the very very end but this is such a lovely lovely vanilla cake scent like I think this is so good I think this performs really well for being a vanilla scent you know vanilla is notoriously light but this this is so good it's really, really delectable. Is it a 10? No, but it's a pretty strong vanilla cake scent. And I really enjoy it. I think it's really fun to burn your birthday month. And I will, again, purchase this for as long as they make it because I think it's really good. As long as they don't mess it up. Don't, don't mess it up. Please don't do that. Another homeworks that I have is deep dish apple pie. This came in a trio with a couple, with two other scents. This is gooey apple nectar, cinnamon, vanilla, and pie crust. So this was last year's, I think like fall TSV or something. They were three wicks, which are, I think these 14 ounces, yeah. And as you can see, she didn't burn the best. Womp womp. I have burned one other scent from this trio and I had the same experience. They just burn beautifully up until like here. And then they just like lose their minds. I don't understand. It's like, not even the wicks are bad. They just like, I don't know, they just like freak out. And they're like, nope, not gonna burn, not gonna pull it out. So thankfully I was burning this in the kitchen. And what I did was anytime I turned my oven on, I just took whatever side had the most wax and kind of turned it towards like close to be closest to the oven. And that helped melt a lot of this residue down. So it, it doesn't look too bad right now, thanks to the oven. So yeah. But as you can see, I didn't turn the oven on at the end and that's what it would look like. Imagine that just like from here down, like it would be bad. So thankfully the oven saved it. But as for the scent, this is like a really, really nice apple pie filling. I don't get pie crust. I don't get that. This is a really nice, like kind of sticky, gooey apple cinnamon scent that really smells like apple pie filling. So I really liked the scent. I thought it performed well. It's not pie. I think they should call it deep dish apple pie filling. But I liked it. I did like it. So there's that. Then I have, oh, she's buried. Her twin is buried. Where's your twin? Oops. I told you my bed was full. Um, I don't, where's your twin? I can't find you. But anyway, autumn. Here it is. Two autumns. We're finished. I love this scent. Hi, Lily Book. Hi, baby. She's getting comfy in her bed. These are amazing. They burn, oh, it smells so good. These burn beautifully. Red Gala, bright Red Gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, fir balsam. It's fall. It's fall, fall, fall. Hello. I love autumn. This literally so good. This didn't even, they really didn't even get that like murky and gunky. That looks bad, but it's just because shadows. But man, I can't go in autumn season without burning autumn. Like it's just, it literally is fall to me in a jar and they did great. They were strong. This is seriously like one of the top strongest scents I think Bath and Body Works has to offer. Like it's serious business. Okay, another homeworks that I burned. This is not the original vessel and look at this. Oh, gross. This is a sugared beignets jar, but in here was the citrus mint mojito. So I have nothing really to show you but the inside. I rejarred this because it came from Ulta Shattered, and this was the vessel that I had at the time. Uh, there's really like no scent left because this baby burned all the way down. For being a rejar, she did well. I thought like because the glue wasn't like truly stuck to the bottom here that I would have to cut it off like around here, you know, so that way the wicks don't drift or whatever. They stayed in place. They did just fine. So yeah, it looks bad. Like it did get gro gross and gunky. And again, it's a rejar. So I can't really say if that one, like is the problem. Probably not. But anyway, it was fine. Citrus mint mojito was good. I have like a bajillion of these because Ulta just kept sending me broken ones. And I was like, no, I want a full one. <laughs> so I have like, I think I have like three of these maybe. I don't even know. But it's a nice scent. I mean, it's, it really smells like the watery, muddled mint at the bottom of a mojito. That's really, it's really the scent. So it was good. We had a lot of warm weather towards the beginning of the month. And it was, it was just, it was necessary to burn something that was kind of like lighter, a little bit fresher. And I can get rid of this jar now. We know how I feel about those. All right. 
Another teeny tiny Yankee candle here is Peaches and Cream. Again, I used this for the same like fall decor thing. It's an empty Bath and Body Works jar that I use and it's just pretty. So it smells like peaches, kind of gross to me. But if you like peach, it's a nice scent, but I didn't really use it for scent. All right, we have Caramel Candy Corn. This is from the brand Clementine. I got this at Home Goods for, I don't know, you can see in the haul how much I got it for, but this is a 15 ounce candle, really, really cute lid. This was a two wick and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they were a little off centered and that is why one side looks like that. And the other side's like pretty much fine. <laughs> so yeah, but this burned all the way down. Jeez, if they could get it together with this problem here, we'd be fine. This is also my fault because I, I, I didn't forget about it, but like I let it out of my sight for a bit and like didn't go in the kitchen for a couple of hours and it, it did that. So yeah, I like wouldn't repurchase, but it smelled good. It performed like well besides that, like it didn't have any tunneling problems. It was a nice like caramel candy corn scent. It wasn't too, too sweet of a caramel. I probably wouldn't get it again, but it wasn't bad. I mean, to try it out for home goods, you know, sometimes I just feel like I want to try something different. So it was fun to try something different. And then I have here from Homeworks, bottom of my bin, berry pumpkin waffles. This is blueberry, pumpkin, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and vanilla bean. Um, the wax color is beautiful. It's a really nice pale kind of pink this smells burnt, but this burned all the way down. It burned really, really well. It did not get gross at all. Like no wick problems. We kept all of our wicks. It was great. The scent though, I don't know. People really, really, really raved about this one. And I just don't know if it was for me. I don't know. I have... I bought one and on accident, I know. I thought I was putting birthday cake in my cart, but I put berry pumpkin waffles and I just, his, his dot shop is very glitchy. So I also feel like I could have put birthday cake in, but accident, like as the page was loading, like clicked berry pumpkin. Anyway, I, I now have two of these. I, I bought two on the original launch, burned one, and now I have two left still. So I don't know. It was okay. Like it wasn't, Again, it wasn't like a blow me out of the house strong. Um, I actually, I liked it better on cold than I did warm. I don't know. And that could be the pumpkin in here. Pumpkin and me, we don't vibe all the time. So it could be that. Um, but I really liked it on cold. Warm, eh. Now it just smells smoky, which is interesting for homework because that usually doesn't happen. And it's also not black. Like, it's really not black in real life. So I don't know where that smoke is coming from, but it burned well, it burned all the way down. I don't know, just was it worth the hype? Mm. To each their own, I guess. And then the last candle that I have here, and then we have a bunch of wax, is Pumpkin Marshmallow from DW Home. Really pretty vessel. Their three wicks are um, not the best performers, but their glass is really pretty. It's nice and thick. They are 12.9 ounces, so it it looks perfectly fine. That's because I took like a, a wax scoopable spoon and I just kind of like scraped the edges every time it burned and just tapped it back in the middle and it did fine. Like, I don't mind doing that because like it's not really that hard. Their wax formula is a very soft formula, so especially when it's warmed from, you know, being burned, like it just scoops off and slides right in. So I don't mind fixing it a little bit if it's gonna help it look that good. This was a very sweet scent, like whew. Also had like a caramel, like maple vibe to it. I don't know, this was not a typical pumpkin marshmallow. Like it was not the same as Bath and Body Works pumpkin marshmallow or whatever it's called. This is very, very sweet. Um, not, not a repurchase for sure, but I think it burned well. And I think these vessels are really pretty. So yeah, thick glass too, like she's, she's thick. So yeah, I, I liked it enough to not buy it again. <laughs> I liked it. It is not, not gonna buy it again. All right. That's it for candles. And now we're on to wax and wax and wax and wax. Okay. Let's see here. I, I got a lot going on. Let me try to, I have a lot of lids in here too. I have like lids, like um, 
old homeworks lids so that I can replace the janky ones that they send. So I have like lids in here. I got to clean up this basket. Okay, let's, let's start with just wax. We've got Velvet Pear from Closet Full of Wax, Fresh Pear, Vanilla Bean Noel, Clean Cotton. It was fine. Um, you're gonna, I'm just going to go through these quick because I have a lot of the samples. I'm still on my sample journey of just getting these out. So yeah, Laundry Room Downy Blue Lemon from L3. Unless I say otherwise, they were fine. Winter Air from Heaven Sent by Becca Marie. Black Raspberry Vanilla uh, Marshmallow Clouds. That one was pretty good. We've got Drink Me, Blackberries, Lavender, Marshmallow, Pink, Pink Chiffon. Honeydew Birthday Cake Marshmallow Fluff from Closet Full of Wax. Carnival by the Sea, which is Salty Sea Air, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Funnel Cake from Closet Full of Wax. Delicates Only, Downy, Lavender, Vanilla, Oatmeal, Milk, and Honey, Baby Clean, Closet Full of Wax. Can you see I have a lot of samples from Closet Full of Wax? Marshmallow Cereal Bar Type from Heaven Sent by Becca Marie. This was amazing. So good. Like, smelled exactly like the candle from Bath and Body Works. Loved. Wish she wasn't out of business. Cotton Candy Whipped Cream White Clouds from Closet Full of Wax. Copycat from Closet Full of Wax, which is Black Amber Cashmere Cream. My nose is running all of a sudden. Um, Waffle Cone Marshmallow Fireside Beach Dunes Coconut Milk Sorbet from Closet Full of Wax. That has, like, a big name. I don't feel like reading it. Spoonful of Sugar from Southbound. This is Frankenberry Cereal Strawberry Cheesecake. Really, really good scent. This was so delicious and delectable. Loved this scent. Like, that one was so good. Okay, then we've got Cranberry Orange Scone from Sassy Girl Aroma. It's English Sweet Scone with notes of orange, citrus, sweet cranberry, and fresh lemon enhanced by nuances of coconut milk, freshly baked pastry, warm melted butter, and vanilla drizzle. It was fine. Uh, Oregon Autumn from L3. Crisp, clean, and fresh fall leaves with a hint of rain. I love this scent. This was, again, from her, like, fall sampler um, in Bunts. Really, really good. I have a bunch of that, actually. Purple Cow Blonde Moment from Rose Girls. This was a sample. Wow. Like, I don't even like grape. And this was actually really, really nice. It was so good. I don't think I would purchase it, but it was a really fun scent and it performed really, really well. So yeah, Purple Cow from L3 is great. Uh, from Rose Girls is woof, it's actually really, really nice. Honeydew Melon, Cotton Candy, Salty Sea Air, uh, aka Beach Clouds from Closet Full of Wax was fine. Watermelon Punch Fizzy Pop from Closet Full of Wax. Missing Socks, Black Vanilla, Musk, Egyptian Sheets, Chocolate Amber. Closet full of wax. I bought like a sample box from her, like maybe, what was this, two years ago? Yeah, July of 2020. So we're just using these things up. The wax is fine. It's like, it's good. Like it performs, but her regular stuff is super, super expensive. So I just, I, I just won't purchase it. It's just too expensive for me. Salty Sea Air Pink Sugar Clear Air Sea Salt and Agave. So this was a fun way to try it. Um, so I think her wax is good. It also has a lot of mica in it, which isn't my most favorite. So yeah, we have Beach from Rainbow Melt, Sun and Sand and Suntan Lotion. Uh, this smelled like literal sunscreen. It was gross, did not like that. <laughs> from L3, Hufflepuff Buttermilk Pie. This was pretty good. Her Hufflepuff is like a cinnamon roll scent. And it was really nice mixed with her buttermilk pie, which is like a creamy, like very creamy, like milky vanilla almost. Super, super good. I liked that. And then the last, yeah, the last wax thing I have is Teddy Bee's Love Birds. Sugary lemons, citrus fruits, green floral notes, amber woods, and a hint of vanilla. This was a souffle. And this was just okay. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, it's kind of weird. I think it's the green floral mixed with like the woods, the amber woods. It's just a very interesting scent. So not a favorite of mine. And then finally, we just have some wallflower tags. I have leaves and pumpkin pecan waffles in my like little dual plug that I have in the basement. OMG. First of all, leaves is a favorite. I love that all year round in the basement. It just works so good, so strong. But then you pair it with pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh! I'm so glad I didn't put pumpkin pecan waffles 
up here, like in the big living space because wow, is it strong. Like our basement runs the full length of our house and it is like, it is strong and it is sweet. So yeah, yeah. And then pumpkin cupcake. I have this in the bathroom to go with the little candle. So good. I loved this. This actually performed really well for a very long time. Yeah, it was good. I just I will always purchase three pumpkin cupcake. Like I will always purchase pumpkin cupcake. <laughs> so good. And that's it for empties. I think I did pretty good this month. We did good on the wax. We did good on the candles. We're moving along. We're plugging chugging because this is the season where I buy a lot because all the sales are endless. But going into the new year, like we're gonna chill. We're gonna chill, we have to chill because I, I bought a lot for like Black Friday. Honestly, the Black Friday sales, they got me. Kringle got me, um, Homeworks got me because they were good sales. They were really good sales. And then I didn't do anything for Bath and Body Works, but Candle Day is coming. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do Candle Day. There's a couple online exclusives that I want. But like, you can't use the coupon and shipping, but like, I don't want to go in store because there's not that much I want. I don't know. And I have to work at 530 in the morning. So it's like, I wouldn't even be at the store until later. So is it worth it? I don't know. That's a conversation for a different day though. Let me know down below how you guys did this month with your burning and your uh, wax melting. Let me know how you guys did. Are you full on Christmas? Are you finishing bits and pieces of fall? I'm kind of a little bit of both, which is nice. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.